Hepatitis is the second leading infectious diseases cause of death globally. I am Dr. Nadeem Sajjad Raja. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and like my channel. More than 6,000 people a day are infected with viral hepatitis. According to a recent report released by the World Health Organization and progress fighting this infectious disease is stalling. The Washington Post, a very famous daily reported, though hepatitis can be caused by heavy alcohol use and some medications. It can also be sparked by a virus that cause liver inflammation, jaundice, fever and other symptoms. There are five main virus strains and some types can be prevented through vaccination. Two strains of virus hepatitis B and hepatitis C lead to long-term disease with hepatitis B causing the vast majority of deaths around the globe. Deaths from the disease are on the rise, no doubt. Several reports published in different medical journals, WHO and on every medical website. The report notes making viral hep hepatitis the second leading cause of death among non-COVID communicable diseases worldwide in 2022. Viral hepatitis, viral hepatitis deaths increased to 1.3 million around the globe up from 1.1 million in 2019. Though new cases declined during that time, the report says the world is off track toward the WHO's goal of reducing new hepatitis infections by 90% and deaths by 65% by 2023. Two thirds of global diseases, disease burden of viral hepatitis falls on just 10 countries. It is really alarming. China, India, Indonesia, Nigeria, Pakistan, Ethiopia, and Bangladesh, and Vietnam, the Philippines, and Russia. Inequalities in primary care, medication availability, testing, and vaccination drive those disparities, no doubt, and we all agree. So Washington Post reports points a troubling picture despite progress globally in preventing hepatitis infections, deaths are rising because far too few people with hepatitis are being diagnosed and treated. According to Director General of World Health Organization in a new release that the deaths due to hepatitis B are on the rise. This report in Washington Post also identifies funding challenges that could further limit progress but the World Health Organization also concludes 
that a public health approach that expands equitable access to hepatitis interventions could get the world back on track and help eliminate the disease by the decades and thank you very much for watching this video.